Here's a quick video demo for my 1966-67 Harmony 415 I have listed on Reverb. Uh, you might be asking yourself why I'm doing this outside. Uh, my girlfriend's a nurse and works third shift, so it's all fun and games until I wake her up. So uh, I'm going to do this one outside. It's kind of noisy because of the road, but I've blocked it with the house and hopes that it'll you'll be able to hear it fine. So take the standby off. Uh, playing uh, a Telecaster, uh, and I'll move it around. So right now we're at five on volume. Three, three and a half on tone, and we're in the uh, channel one. Close the bridge. say these amps break up really nicely uh, with overdrive I'm gonna be in channel 2 on the mic um, we'll start at 5 again we'll just do both at 5 um, see, more break up on the on the mic channel um, it's just I think I believe it's less resistance on that channel oh I'm hearing a ton of echo maybe I shouldn't do this outside um, we'll do the tremolo here's the intensity We'll do at five, speed at the lowest setting. This one has a lot of volume, has the original 212 Jensen's. Uh, the grill cloth looks like it might have gotten close to a chalk line, like a, like a level chalk line because it had blue chalk and I try to get it out as much as possible. Um, it has been cleaned. Uh, all the, uh, the bypass, these cruddy old uh, molded capacitors here uh, are changed out. A couple of the good alls, the other ones were good. This is the death cap was removed when I grounded it properly. Um, it had a tag on it that it had been serviced in 93, but I really didn't see any evidence of any service being done. Uh, maybe maybe the power cord was changed at one time, but it certainly wasn't grounded. So it's grounded properly now, and uh, yeah, it's a fantastic amp, and it gets super loud if you can't tell from this video. Um, when you crank this thing and you have the time or you you know don't have a girlfriend sleeping on third shift, um, it, it really is like a blues breaker. It sounds really good with humbuckers. Um, probably one of my favorite amps. I know Ken Fisher said this is one of his sleeper amps. Um, two EL84, 5Y3 rectifier, 6AU6, I believe probably a phase inversion, and then 212AX7 uh, in the preamp. So all the original Harmony tubes all test good. Um, the filter caps uh, all test within value, low voltage loss. Um, you know, they were in, in, uh, in their value, so I didn't change those. I've had a lot of luck with 60s amps and their cap cans. Um, but other than that, this thing is just ready to rock and roll, and it's in pretty darn good shape. Uh, there, someone added wheels to it. <laughs> These are like, they look like what's on a computer chair, um, uh, which is funny because this amp weighs like next to nothing. You know, it's not a, it's not a heavy amp. It's, it's actually really light um, and, you know, probably particle board. So... But it, overall, uh, no pitting on it. It's in really good shape. It was a one owner on the second. So, um, you know, it, it's a really good amp and it'll make you a, uh, it, it'll play for, for many a longer time as far as years go. So it's got a lot of years in front of it. I do have another video on YouTube of me cranking one, um, same model, uh, just in the basement. So uh, if you wanted to hear it crank, that would be, uh, you know, that would be where I would go. Plus there's a lot of demos on these. There's also a place for a simple tremolo foot switch where you can turn it on and off just a single button. So, um, the polarity on the on off, it's an on center off, um, on, 
doesn't matter because it's been grounded so it doesn't matter which on you go it's just uh, it's good to go so uh, if you have any questions or maybe I'll get one of me cranking it uh, or putting overdrive into it but really I mean it's got it's got that blues breaker sound so uh, but if you have any questions feel free to reach out and I'll get back to you as quick as possible thanks